Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the probable answers for week 3 assignment of Python for data science. So friends, these are my probable answers. Uh, if you have any doubt, please ask in the comment section. So let's see the first video. Before that, please watch the video till the end because if I make any corrections in between the video, you can be able to note those. So first question, which of the following is correct approach to fill missing values in case of categorical variable. So most probable answer is option 2 that is median. Guys if I uh, get any exact answer, if I change any answer I will uh, give you in the comment section. So before submission uh, day please once again refer the comment section and also the thumbnail I will update there. And median. Moving on to the second question, of the following set of statements, which of them used to extract column type as a separate data frame? So the probable answers could be first option and second option. That is option A and option B. First question answer is second option. Second, op second question answer is A and B. These answers A and B. Third question. The method df.cars.describe will give description of the which of the following column. So the third answer will be all of the above. The probable answer is all of the above. Moving on to fourth one. Which pandas function is used to stack the data frames vertically? So the probable answer is this is exact answer I think. Uh, pd.concat that is second option. And fifth question, which of the following are libraries in Python? The answer is all of the above. That is fourth option. Moving on to sixth question, they give separate uh, files, data files. Choose the appropriate command to filter booking details whose reservation status are in no show. So the probable answer is option B and option D. And the seventh one, from the same data, find how many bookings were not cancelled in year 2017. Actually from question 6 to 8, uh, this, uh, these two data files applicable. For 7th question, the answer is, probable answer is option 1, that is 9064. And moving on to 8th one, from the total bookings that were made in 2017 are not cancelled, which one had the highest number of repeated guests? The answer could be option 3, that is January. And ninth one, what will be the output of the following code? The answer is, the exact answer, this is, uh, the answer is, first option, bool int float float string. So mark first option. And tenth one, actually, uh, Actually, I did not uh, got the exact one because I think it is their mistake because they did not give full graph. So only this is the partial graph they have given I think. In that uh, regard, the correct answer will be option B. PLT dot plot of x comma li uh, line strain equal uh, double double uh, it's a fraction mark. It will be I will show you. So this will be the actual uh, symbol so I think actually the graph will come like this so I think they gave only this part then it will show straight uh, slope line like this so the probable answer will be option 2 so friends these are the solutions if I get clarity regarding other options if there is any change uh, I will up update in the comment section. So hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends. Uh, until then uh, keep supporting our channel. So if you have any doubts please ask in the comment section and also if uh, anyone uh, of you know the exact answer uh, if, or if there is any change. Please uh, comment in the comment section so we can discuss and give the best answer for our viewers. So keep supporting us like this. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.